hip hop will be turning 50 2023 and that's an iconic number um i want to say that i'm going into my 30th year being a part of hip hop right yeah um i am astounded on the growth like I don't think anybody could foresee that hip hop would be around for 50 years. <laughs> I don't think anybody could foresee that the amount of influence. Now you coming in 17, 18, no social media, uh, uh, wasn't on mainstream TV at all. It was radio stations dominating yeah. if you were going to become something or not. Yes. To now where you can create a super group, where you have branding, where you have big tour dates. I mean, how how does that feel to be a part of that? I mean, it feels it feels amazing, you know, that that there's an industry yes. now, you know, around this music. And it's great that uh, you know, artists artists like a soldier boy can come out and, you know, straight out of his room and become a superstar without Having to go through all the the label stuff, uh, you know, that just showing you, yo, there is a way, you know. There's chance to rapper, you know. When we first started doing hip hop, and if everybody remember, we go back fifty years. It's all love now, but traditional music hated it. rap. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you know, soul singers <laughs> hated rappers. You know, for the most part, out the gate, and and really. <laughs> Well, you know, hate is a is a harsh word, but really dismissed the music. And they didn't respect it. They didn't respect the samplers. No. They didn't respect the cadence. They didn't respect the lack of melodies. They didn't respect it. Yeah, and they so, made it known. Radio stations used to say, uh, "Top R and B and no rap." Yeah, they used to brag <laughs> that it was no rap on the station and no rap so <laughs> ever. So we've always made a way. You know, right. major labels they didn't know what they was doing. You know. Independent labels started hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Independent labels kept hip hop going. Correct. And and these major labels were late to the party. They signed people that shouldn't have been signed to an album. They oversaturated the industry. They fucked it up. So hip hop always finds a way, which is great. And that's why it's as big as it is, is because it's still from the street. Mm -hmm. It's always gonna find a way to the freshness is going to float to the top. And um, and so, that being said, you know, uh, I'm proud to be a part of it. I'm proud to carve my own way to it. You yeah. got to be funny to get in comedy. Yes. You got to be cool as fuck to get in hip-hop. Like, you, <laughs> like, like you got to... But that's true, though. That's Jermaine true. Dupree, gotta, oh, Jermaine Dupree right. saw little kids walking through the mall with their clothes on backwards and said, y'all fucking stars. Them, dude, them little, little dudes didn't want to be rappers that day, but he made them motherfuckers based on the swag. Based and that's, on the swag. And that's what this shit is, man. It's like it's like a mixture of things. Like, talent got to be there. You know, you can, you can come in dancing, DJing, rapping lyrical, all kind of shit, but if that swag is not there, you're not in. So that's, that's why hip-hop is so influential culturally, you know, because we do the coolest shit. And... From, no matter, I don't care where you, you, once you say, oh, that's it, that's cool, hip hop go, nope, this cool now. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. We have, we have white people out there dabbing and shit. Do you think, do you think <laughs> that, because uh, there is a rock and roll hall of fame, don't you think we need a hip hop hall of fame, like a real situation? Of course. Like, you know, like, I like, think I mean, like a one. real situation yeah, I where. Think they're working on one, you know. And we got to have a building where you yeah. can go, you can go on a tour, and you can go through uh, the the world of hip hop on all different levels. I They literally had a, um, they had a Tupac exhibit here that I went to see that I thought was really, really nice. I don't know if you got a chance to see it. It was really, really nice because you got an opportunity to see some of his most personal writings. You got a chance to be, uh, you know, see some of his poetry as well, and then the music, and then the videos. So you kind of got a chance to walk through it. Hip hop, in my opinion, needs that, like that, that sort of museum where you can actually go back in time and almost feel like you were there in 81 or 82. Yeah. I think they're working on one in New York. Uh -huh. Yeah. So 
Hopefully to come it comes yeah, together. Yeah, we gonna speak and, it. We gonna and, speak. Um, we gonna speak full throttle. And Q, man, listen. VH1 bro. was doing it for you a know, minute. You, remember, you, hip, remember hip hop honors? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but I'm saying like short, short. You gotta have your own section in that joint. Then you got Q got his own section. Snoop got his own section. E40 got his own section. That's how dope y'all are, bro. Y'all all got y'all own section in this game, and then y'all decided to cement it with the super group. I want to come to a to a show. How can I get a chance to see you guys perform, bro? Well, you know, we we we're in the process of putting putting the shows together. Okay. You know, uh locking in dates and and planning the tour together. So you know, you just got to keep checking out. We'll, we'll hit you up and sh- I'll text you and let just you let know. Let me know, man. Don't What's have me out here slipping. No, nah, no, nah, I'll get you in. I'll get you in. <laughs> hey, it's hard. It's hard. I used to see Cube all the time. People don't know how much you love basketball. Yeah, I do. Like, 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 literally, if you wasn't rapping, I think you would have been hooping. You would have been like some nah, CP3. I don't, know, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm gonna keep it real, keep it realistic. Right, but, right, but, but I do know, love the game. You love, do to, love the game. Love to play. Love to watch. Um, you know, love to promote it. You know, I got the big three. Yes, we growing into our sixth season. Sixth so, season. Yeah. of the big three. Um, I'm very, very proud of that venture for you. You gave you. us something to uh, be entertained by in the off season between basketball and you know whatever. It in was. the boring months in the summer. In the summer, when yeah. it ain't nothing to do. It and ain't I'm nothing like, to do. And and what I've loved that you did was you started creating the the uh, characters of each person in the team so now you committed to it yeah so you know what i mean you're getting to know the team you're getting to know you get a little backstory you got yeah. celebrities it's it's really what made you come up with that idea big three just uh, as a fan you know sick of hibernating in the summer mm-hmm. you know when the when the finals was over i'd go and won't come out to it was football season so right. <laughs> so i was like man it must be a lot of people out there like me who just hate summer sports so um, big three is the perfect time, perfect, you know, having some competitive real games in the summer when most teams are either they're in mid season or they're done with their season or preseason, but let's have a real season during the summer. So the big three I just saw one of the games where you had Gilly Gilly out there playing. Yeah, celebrity it, game. Yeah, it was so fun to watch, man. Yeah. You don't remember our Rock and Jock games? Yeah, I remember all that, Come man. On, you know, man, you ain't got, that's you know, where I got the idea you from. You ain't going to get no 25 point basket or no. You got the nah, four nah, point. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. I ain't. I ain't. The 25 <laughs> point basket. Yeah, no. I, I, want, I want people to recognize the game. You right, know what right. I'm saying? We're not so, going to make gonna, it too gonna, silly. Yeah, we ain't going to play with it too much. I remember, I'm going to tell you a funny moment. I don't know if you was playing this year. Gary Payton had a Hundred and seventy five. Oh points. damn! Do you he remember? Shoot, nah. You remember the like, Gary nah. Payton? Gary Payton figured out how to make the twenty five point, and he hit one of the fifty ones. And Lord, the fifty was way up there. And Gary hit that mug. He had hundred and seventy five points. That's crazy. You know, you know where he's from, right? That's, that's a shame. W- yay, yay. O- Oakland, California. Oakland, California. Represent, Shout represent. Out to GP. Shout out to uh, uh, GP. Now, yeah, he, he a coach. You know, with the big three, been there from day one. So. Much which love team? To which Gary team? Which team? Well, he was with the Three Headed Monsters uh, for forever. They made the playoffs every year. Mm-hmm. Then he switched over to Bivouac. They didn't do as well. So we hope to have him back, and uh, you know he'll get that team right. Is there is there any way that I could uh, put together a team, my own team? I don't know about that. Uh, can I celebrity game? Yeah, you know, a we could celebrity do that. game. So celebrity game. Do I have to play? Like, do I need to be in shape? shape? Yeah. God. Man, three on three is not is harder than five on five yes, in a sir. lot of yes, lot of uh, aspects. And y'all y'all don't call a lot of fouls. I see. I see. I mean, you know, we want physical. them to play. 